वेलकम अगेन टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वाटर बॉर्न डिसीएस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द एयर बॉर्न डिसीएस वेयर द एयर इज रिसोर्स फॉर द डिसीज कासिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हियर इन दिस डिस्कशन वी वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ द सो हाउ द वाटर विल बिकम ए सोर्स ऑफ जनरेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हाउ डू द वाटर कैन ट्रांसपोर्ट दिस डिजीज कासिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रॉम द diseased persons to the healthy persons that is called water borne diseases in the communicable diseases we have already discussed about the uh, this uh, some of uh, some of the disease ca causing microorganisms especially bacteria and sometimes the viruses protozoans and funguses also can transported through the water uh, to the healthy persons and causes diseases examples here is diarrhea uh those are uh, vomitings and motions suffered with that patients typhoid is the fever uh, hepatitis is the liver disease amoeba is is uh, uh, and there are dehydration conditions these are very uh, important to discuss because these are uh, in extreme conditions these are very dangerous diseases because diarrhea and the amoeba is uh, leads to the dehydration process especially uh these are called uh, caused by protozoans and bacteria uh these are actually attacked to the attack to the digestive system and damage the digestive walls and the small intestine walls and large intestine walls uh the person can loses uh, more amount of water from their body as well as minerals also vitamins and food materials also they loses uh, many useful materials from the body along with the water the water is very important in our body but in this conditions diarrhea and amoeba is the person loses very uh, huge amount of water through the from the body through the motion through the stool then he will suffer with the dehydration process dehydration is uh, uh, very dangerous because the water is important in our body to maintain the aqua uh, blood balance blood and uh, tissue fluid balance if that is lost that leads to very dangerous low bp and sometimes it is leads to death also so another important uh, is the discussion about typhoid typhoid is the fever which is uh, caused by the salmonella typhimira bacteria uh, that live in the large intestine and causes this disease Uh, hepatitis is another dangerous disease which is caused to the liver especially uh, in this hepatitis there are many types of their hepatitis a hepatitis hepatitis b and many are there uh, that we will start the discussion about this uh, water borne diseases if we drink the contaminated water with the microorganisms we can get this disease that's why these are called as the water borne diseases now the first one is the diarrhea uh this is actually caused by the protozoan microorganisms some uh, entamoeba or sometimes it may be attacked by the bacteria uh the bacteria these uh, spores or microorganisms enter into the water if we will drink that contaminated water this microorganisms enter into our body and uh, attach to the walls of the small intestine or large uh, large intestine they can damage the walls of uh, this digestive system and leads to diarrhea that is uh, symptoms are vomitings and motions especially the dehydration is uh, the main symptom uh, what is the uh, treatment for this is the rehydration dehydration uh, um, treatment is the rehydration we have to uh, give the patients more amount of fluids to restore the lost water so the balanced diet are, um, also should be given to that patients if if the condition is very severe we have to allow them to join in the hospital then the uh, hospital authorities will replace the water through the uh, saline and uh, minerals are also restored in the body but uh, the prevention is better this disease can be prevented very easily if you if you will drink the safe water or uh, non contaminated water automatically this disease is uh, prevented nowadays everyone is drinking the mineral water and uh, pure water that is a good thing okay uh, that's why this uh, diarrhea disease is greatly reduced in uh, 
uh, our society is yes, but in some of the remote sensing areas in the forest region this disease is common even today also because they do not use uh, safe drinking water and the important is the typhoid of course this typhoid is common uh, in all the societies because this is uh, not only the waterborne disease and also foodborne disease through the contaminated food material that can be uh, uh, transported from the deceased persons to the healthy person uh, this is also called as a bacteria uh, this is also bacterial infection salmonella typhimerum that is a bacteria causes diseases that enter into the body digestive system through the water or through the contaminated food material and that can attach to the walls of smaller large intestine especially uh, that can damage the walls of large intestine and causing the disease that patient will suffer with this typhoid disease with high temperature uh, however that uh, diagnosis uh, methods are many are there and treatment is uh, antibiotics should be given to that patients and the preventive methods are very important throughout all our discussion in this public uh, public health and hygiene we have to give more priority to the preventive methods that is our vision so the what are the prevention methods means we have to drink uh, uh, safe water or cleaned water and also we have to take the um, good food clean food and also balanced diet then automatically we can avoid this typhoid uh, fever hepatitis a is uh, another dangerous disease caused by this uh, contaminated water and the food material also uh, symptoms are very uh, but treatment is uh, this is actually viral diseases uh, uh, if already the liver is damaged this the, this viral virus can causes disease to the uh, a particular organ liver the prevention is a very important method in this uh, cleaning uh, drinking clean water and taking safe food or good food or clean food uh, and following the hygienic method washing hands before eating food material but not after eating amoebiasis another important uh, discussed to be discussed uh, another important disease amoebiasis is caused by the entamoeba histolytica belongs to the protozoan single celled organism uh, then symptoms are diarrhea dehydration treatment is very uh, antibiotics are used but the prevention methods are drinking safe water um, and taking safe food or clean food or good food and careful hygienic maintenance washing hands and following the hygienic methods can prevent this disease easily